Restore your HP computer to its original factory state using a download of the HP Recovery software. After troubleshooting your computer issue with an HP support agent, a complete system recovery might be identified as the solution. Instead of waiting for the recovery media in the mail or incurring any fees, a free digital download of the recovery software is offered for most HP computers. After agreeing to the download, a confirmation email is sent to your registered email address or alternate email address if desired. Open the email on the computer to be recovered or any other computer running Windows 7 or above. The email includes two download links, one for the instructions on the recovery process, the other for the recovery software. You can access the links twice before they are voided. If your links become voided before getting the software, contact HP Support to reinstate your download links. Open the links to download software that assists in getting the correct instructions and recovery software for your computer. Do not use a VPN or proxy or the downloads will not start. Open the downloaded applications and follow the prompts to download the instructions and recovery software. Keep in mind, if you follow the steps in this video, the instructions can just be used as reference. To launch the Download Manager at a different time, the program files are saved in the Recovery Instructions folder inside your Downloads folder. Select Launch to open the USB Boot Drive Creator, a program that creates a bootable USB drive for the recovery software. If you do not see a launch prompt, Navigate to where you downloaded the files, generally your Downloads folder. Open the folder with the same name as your model and then open hprecovery.exe. Insert a 32 GB or larger USB drive into your computer. Creating the recovery media will delete any data stored on the USB drive, so before proceeding, save any data on the drive you would like to keep. Select Next. Select the drive you want to use to create the recovery media, and then select Next. If the USB drive is not detected, connect it to a different port. If it is still not detected, the USB drive is not compatible with USB Boot Drive Creator, and you must use a different drive. Select the checkbox to confirm your drive selection, and to acknowledge the drive will be wiped, and then select Next. The software prepares the drive and then creates the bootable media. This process can take a considerable amount of time and cannot be interrupted. Do not remove the drive or shut down the computer during the media creation process. If you are using a notebook to create the media, it must be plugged into a wall outlet. With the recovery media creation complete, select Exit. To prevent data loss, safely eject the drive in Windows, and then physically remove the drive from the computer. On the computer to be recovered, remove any disks and any media drives, and then shut down the computer from Windows. If Windows does not shut down, press and hold the power button until the computer is off. Disconnect all peripheral devices and cords, except the keyboard, mouse, power cord, and monitor. If you are recovering a notebook computer, disconnect everything but the power cord. Insert the USB recovery media directly into the computer which needs to be recovered. Do not use a USB hub or the installation might fail. Turn on the computer and press the Escape key repeatedly to open the Startup menu. Press F9 to display the boot device options for your computer. Use the up and down arrow keys to navigate to the USB recovery hard drive that has UEFI in the name, and then press Enter. If after a few minutes the recovery media does not start automatically, restart the computer and try the steps again. If you have personal data on the hard drive you would like to keep, you must back it up at this point or it will be deleted permanently during the recovery process. Select Back up your files first, or File Backup, depending on the version of Recovery Manager. Select Next. To choose the file categories to back up, select Auto Selection 
And after your selection, Recovery Manager automatically identifies the specific files to save. If you prefer to manually choose the files and folders you want saved, select User Selection. Select Next. From the list, select the types of files to back up. Or if manually adding files and folders, select Browse and choose your files. Select Next and Recovery Manager identifies all files to back up. When prompted to choose where to save the backup, insert a second USB drive or an external hard drive into the computer. You cannot save your backup files on the same drive as the recovery media. Select the drive where you want to save the backup files. If you receive a prompt about formatting, try a different drive that uses NTFS formatting or format the drive using a different computer. Select Next and then select Next again to save the files to the selected drive. With the backup complete, remove the backup drive from the computer, and then select Next to return to the Recovery Manager home screen. If prompted, select Factory Reset, and then select Next. Continue following the recovery prompts until a screen appears asking if you want to back up your files or recover without backing up. Since you already backed up your files, select Recover without backing up your files, and then select Next. If prompted, select OK to begin the recovery process. System Recovery erases all contents on the hard drive and then restores the drive back to its original factory image. This includes reinstalling all original software and drivers. The recovery preparation completes. If prompted for a supplemental recovery USB drive, Select Skip. Select Continue, and then if prompted, select OK to restart the computer. System Recovery installs any software that was originally loaded on your computer. The computer might restart multiple times during this process. Remove the USB recovery drive from the computer. With the software installation complete, the computer restarts and boots into Windows. Follow the on-screen prompts to complete setting up Windows. With Windows Setup complete, connect any peripheral devices and cables that were previously disconnected. To finalize your computer setup, HP recommends a few simple steps. First, connect your computer to the Internet. If available, use an Ethernet connection to maximize download speeds. Check for updates in Windows to get the latest updates and security patches for your computer. Install the latest version of your preferred security software, and then get the latest virus definitions. Install any other applications that were not factory installed. Copy any personal backup files that were saved during the recovery process to your computer. 